Hi, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Me. I'm Susan B. Lahaki, running for President of the United States with the Green Party. And this is my temporary kitchen. See it? It's not bad. So I'm only getting to this now because I only got a um, kitchen yesterday. And I only, uh, it's only morning now. So it is actually Saturday, but um, it's Monday for us. And uh, memory Monday, in fact. So as I'm remembering Monday, I had such a nice flight coming to the US on July 20th. And, um, and then I got to the, my hotel and there was a nightmare. They uh, run off their own grid and so they uh, have their own generators and their own uh, solar panels and their own um, natural gas, I guess, and it wasn't working and therefore they kept uh, having um, power outages and that also meant no internet and finally I had to go back to the airport to get internet. So it's a hotel that's at the at the airport uh, at JFK and um, yeah it was just quite an entertaining time. They had to call in the fire department to help and uh, yeah so when I arrived there were these big red trucks out front and it was quite funny. Quite funny. So that was my Monday. Um, it is, uh, if it's July 20th, it's also Man on the Moon Day. And it's one of the days that I would like to make a national holiday. I think we should be celebrating that. It's quite an achievement. I mean, I think the world should be celebrating it. But it's quite an achievement. And it should be a day where we sort of push ourselves to strive to do something beyond our what we think is were possible of doing, you know, somehow that, to reach in and find our better selves and, um, and to do something uh, really special for us or for others, it doesn't matter, but that, that would be my, uh, my suggestion for the man on the moon day, uh, you know, wouldn't that be fun to say, hey, happy man on the moon day weekend, you know, and what do you think? I like it. I like it. Anyway, so, uh, and to show you what kind of, you know, stepping out of your roles you can do, the photo of me on Facebook is uh, me doing a tandem skydive from, I don't know, um, I don't know, high enough where we free fell f uh, for like 45 seconds. I think that was like, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't recall the details. Um, it was, you know, 30 years ago. But uh, I, I recall that, yeah, we we fell out. Uh, we were the last ones. We fell out of the plane. Um, and when we did, we uh, somersaulted out of the plane. <laughs> and... Uh, and then suddenly there we were going down and your arms are out and it's so windy you can't hear so you have to use hand signals and you know he says uh, my my tandem the one in charge was a guy and he's like are you okay and I said yeah yeah I'm good so um anyway we uh we free fell for 45 seconds and you know the earth came closer and closer and it was so loud and I had to pull the cord and I did and bingo, the chute opened and then suddenly there was silence. It was amazing. There was total silence. You're hovering, you know, somewhere about where I am right now. I'm sort of in upstate New York um, in the Hudson Valley area somewhere and uh, yeah, it was really incredible because then we had a 20 minute nice soothing ride down until we got to the ground and there you see me coming down in the picture almost uh, at the end landing and it was a great, great uh, feeling, you know, um, 
You don't know what you're capable of until you do it. And sometimes you just have to jump. You don't know what's coming. You just have to do. And, and you do it. You find the things inside of you to do it. So anyway, that was my skydiving moment. Our, our landing wasn't so brilliant either. We, we, I think he fell on top of me because I, I thought I had to keep my legs still up. I didn't know I had to put them down and you know, yeah, we were both supposed to be, you know, walking. So it was probably my fault, but anyways, it was fun and I survived with no broken bones or anything. And it was a good time and I highly recommend it. I actually will say I was more afraid of being in the airplane than I was being, you know, <laughs> falling to the, to the earth because the airplane was pretty old and rinky dink and we had to spiral up to our height. And so we were just constantly doing circles and circles and uh, anyway, <laughs> that was the scarier part. Yep. So, um, and then you know that the song was, uh, um, Hold On I'm Coming, right? By Wesley Arms. So I'm going to end it there. Uh, I will say that I'm, I'm here at a Walmart. I slept overnight here, no problem. So it does work. Yeah. Let's see, see the Walmart sign in the distance. Okay, so I guess um, more in the next video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you tomorrow or in a few minutes. Bye. <laughs>